so let me now discuss the invariance of space time invariance of space in the time so space time invariance under lorentz transformation let we define a term s square it's a distance is square it's a distance square term and let's say this is equal to x x not squared minus x1 squared now what is actually this thing s square is a distance is a term and this is between the two frames like both the frames are measuring this s x not means the one frame means the one coordinate and x one the other coordinate now when like this is the unprimed coordinate this is time coordinate this is the distance coordinate or space coordinate so this is the space time combination and s square is the length which is measured in that four vector so we start the same thing between uh, moving frames what will happen to this one so in moving frame this one will become x not prime square minus x1 prime squared this s square will be in a moving frame it will be like this in a four vector form so this is equal to now i know the value of x0 from here and i will have to square it so gamma times gamma times x0 minus beta times x1 and this is whole squared minus what about x1 prime x1 prime is equal to gamma times x1 minus beta time x0 and this is whole square so i have just put their values from the lorentz transformation then this thing is equal to gamma squared and then this will be x not squared plus beta square x1 squared minus 2 beta x not x1 minus and the gamma square let me take this is common because it is here as well so it will be x1 squared plus beta squared x not squared minus 2 beta x prime x1 and x not right now look at the situation here this is x not square beta square x1 square then minus this one 2 beta x not x1 and this one is minus 2 beta x not x1 it is minus this minus when will come out it will become plus so it means these two terms are cancelling and we are left with gamma square and now here i can write that x not square minus x1 squared plus this one i can means i can write the like term let's say i write beta square here in x1 square minus x1 square minus beta square x not squared it is equal to this now i can take here like i write x not square minus x1 square so it is gamma square x not square minus x1 square 
and if I take beta square is common then it will be x naught square minus x1 square okay let me do it step by step so this is let's say x naught square minus x1 square and then I or if I combine the x naught with the x naught in the this one it will be uh, easier to do this thing like I do like this minus if I take beta square is common then it is x naught square x naught square minus okay I have made a mistake here this one is plus and that's why this will become minus and x1 squared so now I will get this thing is gamma square and if I take x naught square minus x1 square is common x naught square minus x1 squared is common then it will be 1 minus beta square then what about gamma square gamma square from here is 1 minus 1 over minus beta square so this is 1 minus beta square so it means gamma square is cancelling with this and we are left with x naught square minus x1 squared and what is this this is actually s that we defined right this is squared so think of this one we started from the moving frame in the four vector form and we reached the stationary frame in a four vector form so it means that s square is a distance it is a term that is invariant s square is invariant under Lorentz transformation in the four vector space right so we got a length now it is a length or space which is invariant and now I can further explore this one that this s square is equal to x naught square minus x1 squared and this is equal x naught is equal to ct as we have done here this is ct and squared and what is x1 it is x and squared so I can write that this is c square t square minus x square and if I take the c square t square is common then c square t square is common and 1 minus x square over c square t squared and I can write that s square is equal to c square t square and this is 1 minus now x square over t square is velocity we know this thing this is now our x the space coordinate three dimensional space x so this is velocity square divided by c squared now what is this value this value is gamma 1 over gamma square so I can this implies if I take the square root on both sides so there will be two roots plus and minus ct and with this term but we don't have any concept of a negative distance so that's why we will only take the positive so s is equal to ct and this one will become 1 minus v square over c square square root and this is equal to c t right this is equal to c t and what is this one 
this is 1 over gamma because gamma is equal to 1 over this so it will reciprocate and ct over gamma so ct over gamma is the length s which is equal to ct over gamma is the length which we call the proper length we call it a proper length we call it a proper distance we call it a proper space so this one when ct is what ct is distance divided by gamma a number and this will now be invariant under the lorentz transformation so it is a proper length as we have done with the length with the space now we can go for time so if i divide this one with c then what i will get s is equal to vt so s over v is t and i call this t is top i define it I define it as time and this is the proper time and this will be equal to t over gamma and tau. I can uh, sorry write like t over gamma. So tau is equal to this one and then I can write that this is uh, like gamma is the ratio of the time which is in the stationary frame divided by the invariant time this time is variant because under Lamas transformation this time was variant it was dilating but tau is the time which is not dilating it will remain the same in moving and rest frame because this one we came to know that this one is constant this is invariant under Lorentz transformation in both the frames and this one we are struggling for that we are assuming this one is a constant this one is invariant in Lorentz transformation so that's why tau is the is defined is the proper time now it is to be noted that the only clock which will give you the proper time is the clock which is with you right the only clock that will give you the proper time is the clock which is with you because here is gamma gamma is again dependent on v and on c so this really will change so the only the only time which is a proper time is given by the clock which is with you now we will discuss the invariance of momentum in energy so the invariance invariance of momentum and energy so momentum energy invariance now we know that momentum is equal p is equal to m v now what about velocity m is m m we want to keep is constant this is the consequence of the invariance of momentum and energy we want to keep m is constant what about v this v is now in a four vector it will be m times now this is x naught x1 x2 x3 these are our four vectors so we will be if this i divide by time now which time the time which was a proper time tau 
so you divide this one by tau then you divide this one by tau and this one by tau and this one by tau right so you have divided them by the proper time and here these are your coordinates m is the consequence state it will be constant so what about the p0 term the p0 term from here is m x naught over tau now what is x naught x naught is m and this x naught is ct over tau and what about t over tau t over tau from here is equal to gamma because t over tau is equal to gamma so this is equal this implies that p0 is equal to m c times gamma or gamma times m c and further i can write this thing is put the value of gamma it is 1 over 1 minus v square over c square so this is the momentum in the four vector form and what about p1 p1 from here p1 is equal to m and x1 over tau and m and what about x1 x1 is x over tau now what about this one x over tau x is the space over proper time so this is p1 is equal to m times v x over tau mv now mv we know that this is the actual momentum right this is the momentum mv we know already we know p prime uh, we know the momentum is equal to mv from our three dimensional space in a four dimensional space we got an extra value of momentum which is mc times gamma now i can further explore this one and if i do multiply if i do multiply this uh, but let me first explain this thing the binomial series 